guys. Good morning. Welcome back to Pray, Read, Pray. I'm Shar, And for today's reading, it will be Proverbs chapter 13, 14, and 15. And as always, before we get into actually reading God's wonderful word, let us pray. Lord God, we truly thank you for this day. We thank you for your words. Help us and lead us and guide us for comprehension and understanding. Lord, as we read Proverbs on today, let these ver words, verses, and chapters rest upon our hearts and our minds. Help us to apply it to our lives properly. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so I'm reading from the New Living Translation, NLT. This is the Inspire Bible, large print, the original one. And um, hopefully you guys can see this very large print because it definitely helps me as I'm reading. Proverbs 13. A wise child accepts a parent's discipline. A mocker refuses to listen to correction. Wise words will win you a good meal, but treacherous people have an appetite for violence. Those who control their tongues will have a long life. Opening your mouth can ruin everything. Lazy people want much but get little, but those who work hard will prosper. The godly hate lies. The wicked cause shame and disgrace. Godly discards the past of the blameless, but the evil are misled by sin. Some who are poor pretend to be rich. Others who are rich pretend to be poor. The rich can pay a ransom for their lives, but the poor won't even get threatened. The life of the godly is full of light and joy, but the light of the wicked will be snuffed out. Pride leads a conflict. Those who take advice are wise. Wealth from get-rich-quick scheme quickly disappears. Wealth from hard work grows over time. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. But a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. People who despise advice are asking for trouble. Those who respect a command will succeed. The instruction of the wise is like a life-giving fountain. Those who accept it avoid the stairs of death. A person with good sense is respected. A treacherous person is headed for destruction. Wise people think before they act. Fools don't and even brag about their foolishness. An unreliable messenger stumbles into trouble, but a reliable messenger brings healing. If you ignore criticism, you will end in poverty and disgrace. If you accept correction, you will be honored. It is pleasant to see dreams come true, but fools refuse to turn from evil to attain them. Walk with the wise and become wise. Associate with fools and get in trouble. Trouble chases sinners, while blessings reward the righteous. Good people leave an inheritance to their grandchildren, but the sinner's wealth passes to the godly. A poor person's farm may produce much food, but injustice sweeps it all away. Those who spare the rod of the discipline hate their children. Those who love their children care enough to discipline them. The godly eat to their heart's content, but the belly of the wicked goes hungry. All right, so that was obviously a bunch of wisdom, a bunch of knowledge information, um, mainly about you'll see a lot of patterns and things repeated, you know, about the rich, about the poor, about disciplined children, about having self-control, um, about living godly or the opposite, what will happen if you don't, um, a lot of consequences of how sinners carry themselves and behave. Um, one thing that I would like to note and add is that you can, out of all the books and uh, content of the Bible, Proverbs is one of those that you can literally do take a verse and dig in that one verse without um, necessarily losing context. Versus if you're reading like the book of Job or the book of Isaiah or the book of Matthew, you know, these books are meant to be read in clusters in a group. In the setting, Proverbs is a bunch of Proverbs and you can literally have one proverb. So almost all the Proverbs is in that matter. Like the one proverb, you can take it 
separate it, study it, break it down, and you will be in context. Um, so that's a good thing. And this is why I make it my business to continuously read through Proverbs because when you read it in bulks or in groups, like maybe one chapter at a time, it's easy to miss something and come back and read it the second time and be like, oh, okay. Um, for some reason, now I pay more attention to verse 27 than I did the first round, you know, something like that. Proverbs chapter 14. A wise woman builds her home, but a foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. Those who follow the right path fear the Lord. Those who take the wrong path despise him. A fool's proud talk becomes a rod that beats him, but the words of the wise keep them safe. Without oxen, a stable stays clean, but you need a strong ox for a large harvest. An honest witness does not lie. A false witness breathes lies. A mocker seeks wisdom and never finds it, but knowledge comes easily to those with understanding. Stay away from fools. For you won't find knowledge on their lips. The prudent understand where they are going, but fools deceive themselves. Fools make fun of guilt, but the godly acknowledge it and seek reconciliation. Reconciliation, I'm sorry. Reconciliation, there you go. I was trying to figure out how I say it. That makes it easier for me. Verse 10. Each heart knows its own bitterness, and no one else can fully share its joy. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the godly will flourish. There is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. Laughter can conceal a heavy heart, but when the laughter ends, the grief remains. Backsliders get weight what they deserve. Good people receive their reward. Only simpletons believe everything they're told. The prudent carefully consider their steps. The wise are cautious and avoid danger. Fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. Short-tempered people do foolish things, and schemers are hated. Simpletons are clothed with foolishness, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Evil people will bow before good people. The wicked will bow at the gates of the godly. The poor are despised even by their neighbors, while the rich have many friends. It is a sin to belittle one's neighbor. Blessed are those who help the poor. If you plan to do evil, you will be lost. If you plan to do good, you will receive unfailing love and, and faithfulness. Work brings profit, but mere talk leads to poverty. Wealth is a crown for the wise. The effort of fools yields only foolishness. A truthful witness saves lives, but a false witness is a traitor. Those who fear the Lord are secure. He will be a refuge for their children. Fear of the Lord is a life-giving fountain. It offers escape from the snares of death. A growing population is a king's glory. A prince without subjects has nothing. People with understanding control their anger. A hot temper shows great foolishness. A peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. Jealousy is like cancer in the bones. Those who oppress the poor insult their maker, but helping the poor honors him. The wicked are crushed by disasters, but the godly have a refuge when they die. Wisdom is enshrined in an understanding heart. Wisdom is not found among fools. Godliness makes a nation great, but sin is a disgrace to any people. A king rejoices in wise servants, but is, but is angry with those who disgrace him. So, once again, like I said previously, go one by one, read them slow. That's the best way to read through Proverbs. Because they all have different ideas and concepts. Very rarely do you have like a group that say, okay, these two can kind of go together. You can literally just pluck one and meditate on that, memorize that, and it will do you some good. All right, last but not least, we have Proverbs chapter 15. A gentle answer deflects anger. But harsh words make tempers flare. The tongue of the wise makes knowledge appealing, but the mouth of a fool belches out foolishness. The Lord is watching everywhere, keeping his eyes on both the evil and the good. 
Gentle words are a tree of life. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Only a fool despises a parent's discipline. Whoever learns from correction is wise. There is treasure in the house of the godly, but the earnings of the wicked bring trouble. The lips of the wise give good advice. The heart of a fool has none to give. The Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, but he delights in the prayers of the upright. The Lord detests the way of the wicked, but he loves those who pursue godliness. Whoever abandons the right path will be severely disciplined. Whoever hates correction will die. Even death and destruction hold no secrets from the Lord. How much more does he know the human heart? Markers hate to be corrected, so they stay away from the wise. A glad heart makes a happy face. A broken heart crushes the spirit. A wise person is hungry for knowledge, while the fool feeds on trash. For the definite, every day brings trouble. For the happy heart, life is a continual feast. Better to have little with fear for the Lord than to have great treasure and inner turmoil. A bowl of vegetables with someone you love is better than steak with someone you hate. A hot-tempered person starts fights. A cool-tempered person stops them. A lazy person's way is blocked with briars, but the path of the upright is an opening is an open highway. Sensible children bring joy to their father. Foolish children despise their mother. Foolishness brings joy to those with no sense. A sensible person stays on the right path. Plans go wrong for lack of advice. Many advisors bring success. Everyone enjoys a fitting reply. It is wonderful to say the right thing at the right time. The path of life leads upward for the wise. They leave the grave behind. The Lord tears down the house of the proud, but he protects the property of windows. Excuse me, widows. The Lord detests evil plans, but he delights in pure words. Greed brings grief to the whole family, but those who hate bribes will live. The heart of the godly thinks carefully before speaking. The mouth of the wicked overflows with evil words. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. If you listen to constructive criticism, you will be at home among the wise. If you reject, reject discipline, you only harm yourself. But if you listen to correction, you grow in understanding. So like I said, these two can go heart, hand in hand, heart in heart. Fear of the Lord teaches wisdom. Humility precedes honor. All right, so that was the reading of chapter 15. And all, it was 13, 14, 15 of Proverbs. So, excuse my kids. <laughs> all right, so that was the ending of today. That was uh, 158. So we're moving right along here. So stay tuned for 159. We'll we continue reading in Proverbs, Proverbs 16, 17, 18. So I enjoyed Proverbs and I enjoyed reading on today. And I highly encourage you. This is something that you can continuously read and stay in all day. Like there's plenty to digest, plenty to chew on, as they would say, plenty of meat um, that will help you in your walk, in your everyday experiences in life. And we all need guidance and to learn how to apply God's word. And this is a good way to do so because this is all God breathed. Every single scripture, every verse, every chapter, every book. All right, y'all. May the Lord watch between you and I. May he keep you and keep you in your home and bless you and provide for you. And Lord, I ask that you continue to gather us, Lord God. Help us to enjoy this and help us to appreciate this, Lord God. Lord, I thank you for each and every individual, each and every subscriber. Lord, I thank you for YouTube. I thank you for the subscriber that blessed me with this Bible even, Lord God. I thank you for um, my husband supporting me. I thank you for my children. I thank you for all the needs that you have met, Lord God, to make this possible in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, y'all. Love y'all. God bless. Take care. Bye.